In this video, I will show you how to use the Excel stock history function. I have used this function to get masses of free historical price data to backtest trading strategies and calculate technical indicators. And I will show you how to use it. I have been calculating technical indicators and backtesting for years. And these days I do almost everything in Excel. Data is the single most important thing because we can't do anything without it. And now Microsoft has finally got around to giving us a function that gives us historical price data directly into our spreadsheets on multiple time frames and a wide range of securities. Let's have a look at it. What is stock history and what can it do? Now this is a new function. It is available to Excel 365 users. You can use this function to create customizable historical data. It generates a dynamic range that expands to include all the data. You can customize the time period. You can get daily, weekly and monthly data. And there is a huge range of instruments available. And it's not just stocks. You can get ETFs, currency pairs and cryptos. How to use the stock history function. This is the format. Let's break it down. The stock, the start date, the end date, the interval and the headers. So far so good. So what are the properties? There are six properties which refers to the date, opening price, high, low, close and volume. And you can use these six pieces of information to calculate just about any technical indicator. This is my demonstration sheet. I have added a list of symbols. I took a watch list from stock charts, copied it in. I added some currencies and some cryptos. The next step is I converted them into stock type data. I have recorded another video about stock type data. There is a link on the screen if you'd like to check that out. What I do is I highlight the column, I go to data types and I click stock. And you can see that the symbols have been replaced by the name of each stock. So I've, get, I've confirmed that these are valid stock type data. The next thing I do is I put in the start, the end date, the interval and the headers as reference cells in cells B2 to E2. Finally, I put the formula in cell F3. And the historical data appears. Let's have a look at some practical uses for the stock history function. Firstly, this is my 21 technical indicators spreadsheet. You can use it to calculate all of the popular indicators and it is available now in my new Teespring store. There is a link below this video to find out more. You can see all I am doing is entering the dates and the information exactly as we did before and it is calculating the technical indicator. Likewise, for a trade informed backtest model, I am entering my data, entering the formula and getting the results of my backtest. This really is a game changer for traders and backtesters who want quick data for a wide range of markets straight into their spreadsheets. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this about calculating technical indicators and backtesting your trading strategies. And if you want more winning trades, please go to tradeinformed.com.